Hi, how are you? Welcome to Monday. I hope you've had a good day. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. And I hope yours was drama free. What a weird weekend um, in sport due to obviously Lineker shenanigans, etc. It was just such a strange weekend to be working in sports broadcast. Um, and for so much of the sport to be dominated by um, the political side of things, I don't subscribe really to match of the day. Um, but clearly, Gary Lineker is a popular man amongst his peers and hopefully one day that'll be the same for me. Not yet. Um, anyway, you might have been with us on the old journey to A&E last night. I've got up a short. Uh, please subscribe, by the way, if you haven't already. Thank you for coming along. It feels like it's been ages since I've done a video and it has because it was the Quanti Cup final last time I did. Um, and just had plans to do something yesterday and everything went out the window because of our beloved Russia. And uh, how is your luck? Like, how is your luck? How does somebody who's so, as we know, injury prone, what's happened over the last couple of years, the Achilles getting the Achilles better, gets back from the Achilles injury, breaks her foot at kick-off of that game of Ireland against Finland, comes back from that for some reason because the, the effort had been going on to getting the foot better, tears a, tears a calf, gets that better, comes back from that and actually bursts her knee open. So what I was at the whole thing yesterday and I, I went to the theatre with her. It ended up being a little bit more of a, of a serious more operation. It was a simple operation, but more serious because of the where, where the wound is, right across her knee, her right knee. Um, and it was brutal, like brutal. You've probably seen the, the image, but in real life, it was like really oozy. And actually when we first got into minor injuries unit and they had had a look um, and a pattern from Villa's dad is a, is a surgeon, so, so he had said he had said through his colleague that he thought it was going to be worse they had a look and actually it wasn't too bad and in the end um we went through to theater and the surgeon who took a look at it then said actually it's a lot deeper um than i was led to believe so we're going to have to knock you out for it so she was put to sleep and as he was taking a look it got really weird because it was like opening and closing and then obviously he was touching it and it was like and i thought oh my god i'm going to pass out I'm like, don't make this about you. Be focused, be a good sister, make sure she's okay, distract her. Next minute I was like, I have to sit down, I think I'm gonna puke and pass out at the same time. So anyway, she went off to theater um, I waited for her to come back and um, obviously she was off her face on the, the old, good old drugs that they'd given her and that was quite funny um, because she was just telling stories about the last time she was in this knee brace. The knee brace is like huge, it's from like her thigh down to her ankle and she obviously can't bend the knee because the stitches are, if you bend your knee the stitches will burst so it's a very simple fix and it is a wound that will be healed in two weeks, that's when they take the stitches out so you know it's not as as sinister as everybody thought, I think when your knee's involved these days in women's football, you go ACL, oh my God. Um, it was just a really deep cut, a laceration, purely superficial and fingers crossed she's on the mend. She's still in the hospital, um, but she should be out tonight. And and, and that's the good news. Um, so yeah, weird, weird. And just, I just wondered about her luck. It's like the universe is screaming something at her. Um, but Rusha's just positive and um, was in good form last night. So fingers crossed she can come back from this. It is World Cup year. Yes, we're all aware. Um, and just keeps plugging away at Aston Villa. Anyway, let's talk about the table because a big win for Chelsea yesterday over Manchester United means that Chelsea now sit top of the table once again with that game in hand. Fair play to Manchester United, but that goal from Sam Kerr that ball in from Lauren James is the stuff of pure magic and skill. Um, just a testament to how good that team is and how good Lauren James is going to be and how good Sam Kerr is. So, you know, just once again, off the shoulders, she just ugh, makes it look so simple. Um, a better day for, obviously, Emma Hayes at the office after what happened in the Quarter Cup final last week. It looks like Chelsea will win the league. I, I don't see it another way. 
Manchester United, you've got to give them huge credit. There's still a little bit of a way to go there. And obviously it's having that mentality and that experience, I think, to be able to overcome Chelsea. They've done it with Arsenal. Manchester United have done it with Arsenal. And I think we will see change in the coming years. Um, if that's Alessio Russo leaving, if there's a new ownership at Manchester United, the budget they'll have, the players that they might bring in, we might see a different United side. Um, but, you know, credit to them. This season, they've been outstanding. Um, Spurs, I just want to go there next because I, I won't go through everything, but Spurs 2-1, beaten 2-1 against Liverpool. That's their ninth consecutive loss in the league. Um, they haven't had a win, I want to say, since the 30th of October in the WSL. That's not good enough. We all know that and we know that you've got to give them an element of the injury grace, but there's a budget there. They've got the best facilities. They have a very good manager in Rianne Skinner, but I don't know actually how she sees it through at this point in time. You know, we've seen big statements from clubs and hiring and firing um, and perhaps the players are still behind her, but they should be getting the better of Liverpool. Also, they have Leicester on Wednesday, which means that it's now a bit of a shootout between that relegation zone and that's where uh, Spurs shouldn't be there Spurs should not be there they should not be in this situation so there's going to be call for change if you're a Spurs fan if you know any Spurs fan what do they want to see happen are they happy with the manager there do they want to see some change um I don't see how it continues this way if they get beat against Leicester well then I think the writing will be on the wall for Rianne Skinner um Aston Villa uh, away to West Ham this weekend and another win. The form for Aston Villa so far has been great. Um, another goal for Rachel Daly and uh, another goal for Jordan Nobbs. Um, that team is moving in the right direction. Um, it just seems like they, they have all the right... They have a good, strong squad, don't they? they well, starting to live in anyway. And I'm, I'm happy for them. You know, it feels like they will take that fifth place spot. Everton have dropped points yesterday against Leicester. Um, and Everton still have that game in hand. So that's one thing to remember. But I think at the moment, Villa look like they're comfortable. I did catch a glimpse of Everton recently. And it felt that they were kind of nipping at each other. And I saw that a lot last season. But this season, they've looked very together under Brian Sorensen. But I felt in the last week or two, that did change again slightly. Um, and also Arsenal as well. Another 4-0 win over Reading. Um, bad at the office for Emma McCandy once again. Um, which is a, a shame. But um, Arsenal, clinical, made it look easy. Different. Frida looked good in that position that um, she took on last night. Is that something we're maybe going to see moving forward a, a, a little bit more? Um, I've heard some things that might be ha happening at Arsenal um, and it'll be interesting to see if other changes are made in the future moving forward. Um, but good to see Arsenal stay on winning ways and yes, I, I could have told you that I thought they were going to get that win over Reading but they were put together, they were well drilled, they looked very, very good last night. Um, so looking at the table, you've got Chelsea, Manchester United, Manchester City, Arsenal still with that game in hand, Chelsea also with the game in hand as well, and then Aston Villa in fifth. So where do you see the table going from here? Where do you see that finishing up? Um, are you happy with that? I mean, City, Man City, I think, could take second place. I think that's very possible. Um, and Bonnie Shaw, thanks to her 89th minute goal yesterday, managed to get the 2-1 win over Brighton. So... You know, Manchester City are looking strong. Uh, I think, if I can predict it now, it's going to be Chelsea, Man City, Arsenal, United. That's the way I think things might go. I'm not sure why. You can let me know your thoughts in the comments and I will see you very soon.